everyone. Welcome to Source Snack Break. I am Ren with Source. Today is July 22nd. Um, before we get started, I'll explain a couple things about the webinar tool. So you're all muted automatically, but you do have access to the live chat there on the right. So you can pop in your favorite emoji to try it out. You can also use the live chat to ask questions or comment. We'll make sure we answer any questions you have. So bring it on. We love them. Our web today is an amazing resource. So be sure to ask any questions you have. We'll also send you a recording of the webinar after the presentation is over so you can reference it later or send it to a friend, whatever you feel. Today is our friend Linda with Real Stone Systems. Hey, Linda. Hello. How's it going today? Um, so before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and then a little bit about Real Stone as a company? Absolutely. Absolutely. So Ryan and I had just been chit chatting a little bit. I'm actually uh, based off uh, right now of our Denver warehouse in uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, I actually started with Real Stone um, in Michigan, where we're actually headquartered and warehoused. So I worked there for about eight years, and then I made a move about a year ago to our Denver warehouse. So Real Stone Systems is a great line. Um, as I had mentioned, we were headquartered in warehouse in Troy, Michigan. So we actually the cool thing about it is we stock about 98% of our products in Troy. I say about 40% here in Denver. I'm working on it though. And then about 70% out in California too. So we have actually three warehouses across the country. And then we have some great partners that, that we work with too. So um, me personally, I've actually been a designer my whole life. Um, my mother was a designer. My sister was a designer. Um, so I've just you know been born and raised. So I, I try to be very helpful because I know what you guys want in projects, assistance, you know, everyone wants it now, now, now. So I try to be very helpful that way. So that's kind of, you know, please utilize me as a, a tool too. But um, Real Stone Systems, though, um, we are a great company. So we started as basically, basically as a real panelized stone veneer. Um, all our products are basically in a six by 24 format. And when we talk about our quality and our consistency, it's all AST tested for free or most of it is. Um, so you can use it exteriorly, which is kind of cool. So you can clad buildings with it and then bring it on the inside, as you can see in some of those pictures right there. So it's a nice transition to bring from the outside in or vice versa. Um, in reference to Real Stone, as I said, we, we focus on commercial. We're very uh, commercial focused. So we have an architectural document uh, with hatch patterns, rabbits, seamless. Our nice. website is a great tool for product information. We've got tons of visuals that are always very helpful too. Um, there's a thing in there besides the Revit and the, the commercial focus. We also have um, it's a really cool tool. It's called the virtualizer. And you can take a picture of whatever you're working on. You can take a picture of a fireplace, exterior, I've done blueprints, upload it in our virtualizer. You can plot out where you put our product. And then any one of our stones will upload onto that surface. So you can, you know, give your customer or your client, um, you know, actually a true perspective of how it's going to look into that space. I love that. That's and awesome. Real great. As I said, we started as a panelized stone veneer. And as you can kind of see in the background, we um, kind of diversified over the last, I'd say, five years, which is really cool because we're just not a stone veneer company anymore. We have the coordinating tiles so you can get backsplashes, flooring, um, in addition to hearth pieces. I always like to show this board because it kind of shows you um, basically oh, wow. this is actually our ledge stone panel. There's a home dimensional option, a field tile coordinating mosaics. And then what's really cool too, is we have coordinating hearth pieces that go with. So fireplaces, trimming pieces, wall caps, all that kind of great stuff. Wow. So it's not just a one, one, one product. We kind of, as I said, it's, it covers all the whole floors, vertical, horizontal. So it's really a great product. It's like one stop shop. I love one it. Stop shop. There you go. <laughs> so let's get into um, this the cladding first okay. because it's something that I, I as a designer did not know too much about can you talk about what a stone veneer is right and how a designer should think about specifying it are there things they should keep in mind um like is there a difference between how you would install it in inside versus outside like what are some tips and tricks um what is like the history of this kind of product? Like, sure, absolutely. Yeah. So the cool thing about our paneled stone. So it's all hundred percent real stone. And when we talk about our panels, it's actually rectified. So when you go around the perimeter, everything's very smooth and consistent. All our products are under 15 pounds per square foot. So they apply, they adhere like a large format tile minus the grout. So we do follow the TCNA guidelines of installation. 
And then I remember a couple couple times ago you had uh, interviewed the Latacrete rep. So actually our long spec does call out the Invis system for Latacrete. So exteriorly, the Invis system is a wonderful, wonderful application. So polymer-based modified type bed mortar, what we're looking for. And then basically the guy's going to skim the back of the panel itself, um, sub, skim the substrate, key it in with a half-inch trowel so you're going wet to wet. And then exteriorly, Invis, which is um, air water barrier membrane, directly here to that. So we have, it's the cool thing about real stone, we have, we're very, as I said, commercial focused. So we have a long spec, a short spec. We have YouTube video installations on how to um, handle our products. But the cool thing, actually, the best thing about Railstone is all the different components. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of, as I said, this is our typical panel. And when we talk about the gauge, um, it ranges from about a half inch to an inch and a half in thickness. It's all grade A stone. So when you cut it, it's not going to fall apart on your wet saw. And then we, we call it tight tolerances. So you're not going to find open spaces, gaps, glue on the face of the panel. And then two, um, a lot of times you'll see like a big box stores, Z panels. Mm -hmm. so, People mentally think that like a Z panel, you're going to be able to, you know, not be able to identify your seams as a one point connection. A Z panel, there's more room. You got a squareness and plumbing. Mm -hmm. A lot of times that'll get broken and chipped. The installer ends up having to cut it off anyway. And it eats up into your labor of installation. Got it. So when we talk about, as I said, tile installers do a great job with our products. So large format. And then, um, Another cool thing too is masons can work off of our products and they're kind of evolving as we've the last couple of years with stone veneer. So um, anyway, I wanted to show you too, we have actually three types of panels. So this was our regular panel. So when you're specifying our products, you need to call out what you're going to use. Mm -hmm. This guy is actually our corner unit. It'll come in a box individually wrapped like this. And then I had mentioned everything's rectified. So when it does dry stack up, it goes up nice and straight. But this is actually our corner unit. What? Our corners, as what? well as if I can bend that way, <laughs> inside corners. Oh wow! For fast installation. So once again, labor. We are a little bit more costly, but you get what you pay for. Um, miter cutting. No matter which angle you cut, it's going to stay together. It's not going to fall apart in your wet saw. So it's a really beautiful product. Another one. Another neat aspect of our our veneer stone. Is it's called a natural end and it's actually a six by 24 panel naturally chiseled on each of the six inch rise so let's say you're just dying on a wall and or let's say you only have an inch or two on your firebox you don't want to waste a whole corner use a butt joint return oh nice so yeah so it it's just that natural look exactly so no matter what your angles or you know whatever you're working on there's always a solution with that mm -hmm. and then um, in addition to as i said with most of our stone, we have coordinating hearth pieces too. As I said, depending on what it is, this guy's actually an inch and a half. And then we have another one that's two inches. Mm -hmm. uh, our estate stone line, which is another cool product. So it's a little bit larger scale uh, stone veneer. You can see this guy up here. But this guy is actually, it's still under 15 pounds per square foot, but it's actually adhered to a stainless steel mesh. Oh, wow. It takes the guesswork out of assembly. So versus the guy individually putting the pieces in, Pull it out of the box, skim, skim, squish it go. I don't have an example, but our, our corner is really cool because it actually wraps the corner to look like a full bed. Wow. So really neat. As I said, there's so much that you can do with the product. In addition to, we have, we had talked about this earlier, some gold. So we have some additional products that we you know can add to and complement. Get the, a little sparkle in there. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I know you're called real stone and you say right. it's made out of real stone. It is. What yeah. is the stone that it is made out of? Okay. It depends on the profile. So we actually have like five different profiles and depending on, we have different hatch patterns and the design layout. So we have uh -huh. stone, granite, travertine. So we have several different stones, but the cool thing too is we're taking the same stone. I like to show this too. So we take, this is actually a limestone. Uh -huh. um, and it's in a honed option. We also have that same limestone and put it in a ledge stone option. Ooh. And then in addition to, we have got the coordinating tiles too. And these guys are actually three eighths of an inch thick. So I mean, who doesn't want limestone? Kind of, yeah. Cool, huh? yeah. Put limestone everywhere. That's not <laughs> exactly. So yeah. that's kind of the neat thing. And then we have, we actually um, source from several different, um, all over the world actually. So um, let's see, we've got Turkey, India, Portugal, Mexico, actually Mexico, um, our Alicia lines from Mexico, and they do some really neat custom projects. 
um, but some really neat things. But we've diversified all over the world. So we're constantly bringing inventory in. That's another nice thing. We have inventory, we have stock, and it's just a great, as I said, I drink the Kool-Aid of Realstone system. So um, being a designer, as I said, it's nice to have a single source for, you know, you can do your backsplash, your fireplace, your walls, your floors, mix in different textures. So it's really fun to just play with things. Awesome. Is there any place where a designer should be um, take extra precautions? Are there places where Realstone does really well or where it's like, maybe let's not think about that application or does it pretty much go everywhere? Well, majority of our stone is, well, some of our niche products like our tempered line is interior only. So mm -hmm. we do have, that's another nice thing. We have specification sheets on interior, exterior. Um, actually, Kevin, who's our uh, vice president of sales, he does, since COVID, we started doing these weekly CEUs. He actually did one today on Stone 101. And it was actually a really good, it's a really good informative uh, CEU on different types of stone and what's applicable for where. Um, but it just kind of depends on, is it residential, is it commercial? It just kind of depends on what it is. But as I had mentioned, Real Stone, we do have the testing behind all of our products. Um, we have spe uh, specific spec, spec sheets for each individual one. So we do an excellent job on specific products. Got it. So I'm what I'm hearing is, kind of vague, but you know, yeah, no, what I'm hearing is it goes in a lot of places and it's best exactly. to reach out to you for your expertise right. on where it's Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. Um, can we talk about some of these cool products? Cause I found this <laughs> on your website and they were so interesting that I really yeah. wanted to talk about them. Oh, can awesome. we talk about the different sort of textures that designers can create using real stone? Like, especially right. this exterior one that like kind of looks like a mountain. Right. So actually we call that one Hive and that's by an Italian designer. His name is Giovanni Babari, if I say it properly, but it's a really neat product. And we actually have a, a flat version of that too, but it's actually engineered stone. So it's 90% marble dust, 10% resin, has zero processity, it's UV fire and acid resistant. Wow. So interior, um, you know, it looks really cool organically, more like an art piece. I've, I've got some really cool installations, actually um, big project for me uh, down in Michigan when I was in Michigan. Um, they had used it more as an art piece on like 20 floors of their bathrooms. Oh, wow. They put it up. Um, but um, it's just a really unique product. But um, you basically, it's a, a hexagon, approximately eight inches by eight. And you get a convex and a concave, so it's a dimensional. And you can just, do, it comes in four different color options. And you can really do some really neat things to it. And you don't have to seal it. You don't have to do anything to it. I mean, you had me at marble dust, so I'm excited <laughs> about that. Um, for these types of products, can a designer work with a mason or a tile installer? Would both of those folks know what to do? Absolutely. So I, as I, I kind of defer to the tile, because actually we follow T, the TCNA for a large format for installation. So we follow mm -hmm. those guidelines for installation. The hive being that uh, marble dust and resin, you actually need an epoxy-based mortar to set that because it's non-porous and it won't accept a regular thin set. So we do, once again, we have like a spec sheet that, that tells you the recommended setting materials for that. And then um, there's some other pictures that we have. So the tolerances aren't as tight. If you can kind of see, there's kind of different dimensions. So depending on the application, I personally don't like voids and spaces. So I would basically space it and then come back and crowd it. Got it. Like, and I've seen, we've got some really neat ones in a shower application that, you know, it gives it more of a seamless look. So it just kind of depends on the look that you're going for. Got it. And in, when it comes to like wet areas, like a bathroom, um, I see this very luxurious tub situation happening. Um, can real stone products or some of your products be used in a shower application? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a couple that we don't recommend direct water to. Um, had kind of actually back up to our tempered line up here, which is, this guy's actually a black limestone, but direct water. But most of our stone veneer, hands down, um, as I said, most of it is AS team tested. So it's freeze thaw and uh, density testing. So, um, you know, depending on, you know, cleanability, it's kind of just depends what you're doing. Um, you know, I'm kind of a freak on clean cleanliness and, you know, wipe stuff down. So non-acidic um, cleaners we recommend. So we, you know, it's just a natural stone. So, you know, obviously, if it's going to be in the shower or something like that, you want to put some sort of penetrated sealant on it, which we also have a spec sheet on, too. So, you know, it just kind of depends on the usability of it and 
the exposure to whatever you're doing. Got it. So you can make your own water feature in your own shower. Oh, absolutely. I yeah, love yeah. That. We, we have some beautiful installations of exterior fountains, pool applications. Um, and just, as I said, that's kind of the nice thing. It's all grade A stone. So it's, it's, you know, it's not going to fall apart. It's not going to, yeah. installation is also important too. So yeah. um, falling back to that Laticrete, Laticrete's a wonderful mortar modified type bed, hundred percent coverage, what we're looking for. So it's all in the installation as we know. Got it. Well, I like that you can sort of take something from the exterior and bring it to the interior and really make that connection and sort of manipulate it in cool ways. So it Absolutely. sounds like you can really do some cool stuff there with the design. Absolutely. Um, now, before we take off here, we need to talk about this amazing gold mosaic tile. Isn't what is wonderful? going on? Yeah. I love it. I know. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. Actually, um, we have partnered up with Erin Adams. She's the one that we actually have partnered up with, with our tempered lime, which is really cool because that actually is a sandstone and or black limestone. So each piece is one of a kind. But this is our Marsimo line, a beautiful uh, Turkish marble. And then the cool thing about the, the, the brass, or the it's actually a stainless steel. So you can use that in a wet environment. So you can use it in showers. And then she's really neat because she, she calls it like her granimal. So she has like actually a series of three things. So there's a large hacks, a small hacks. And then, so there's three different patterns that you can, you know, do in a niche area, do it on the floor. So it's really an awesome, we're just now launching this in my area. I'm really excited about it and gotten some great feedback on it. Awesome. And is it legit gold? <laughs> it's actually the stainless steel. It's the stainless steel. Okay, cool. I'm just going to make sure I understand my sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. And then. This is actually our, and then it also has coordinating trims with it too. Awesome. So, so you can really do some cool stuff with this. Oh, I've never yeah. done anything you can like that. On your floor, use this in the niche. I mean, so you could really, any, you know, but this is all interior. So, right. Um, and again, this is just something a, a normal tile installer would know what to do with. Absolutely. Absolutely. Got it. And does it come in any, I'm getting greedy now. Does it come in any other marbles um, or can designers choose from different marbles or different patterns or is what you see, what you get, be excited that there's gold? This particular line, it is what you get. So it's cool. basically she has three different series and then the three different patterns per series. Cool. So, and then though, Back to real stone, we will do custom projects though too. We actually, I've done a couple personally with um, University of Illinois. We did a giant, we CNC routed out a giant eye. So as long as you have enough lead time, I've done custom profiles. Um, someone wanted bigger pieces in that six inch panel. So we will do custom. It's just a matter of having the time and you know the patience to, you know, I love to work on custom projects. So we yeah. do really neat stuff too. Oh, awesome. So like when it comes to the veneer, a designer could work with you to like change the scale of the pattern and maybe the different mix of the type of stone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. So okay. um, we have one, it's actually, it was on our, our cover recently, our last cover. Um, this is actually what our brochure looks like, but um, our previous cover, we had an exterior. It was our pewter hone and I put it in the accent profile. So when we were talking about, we have different hatch patterns and profiles. So if a customer is this at the time, we can put it in different profiles. Um, another one, we have a latte ledge stone and they wanted an accent. So the bigger pieces, so it kind of has more of that brick look. So we can do that. It's just a matter of time. Awesome. And we have our first question. What is the name of the series that we're looking at here with all the gold? Um, this one is Fairmont. Okay. So Fairmont. There's another one called Sea Chain. And I just got my sample books the other day. So <laughs> okay. bear with me. Uh, Good this job. <laughs> This one's actually sea chain, I think is awesome. Ooh. Um, but this guy is kind of cool because there's actually, where is it? I'm like backwards on your screen. So there's actually a polished and then kind of a, a like a, a raked pattern to it. So you can mix the different textures would be really kind of cool. Awesome. And then um, the hex and then, uh, let's see, here we go, backwards. And then these guys are actually three by 12. Um, you know, there's a polish, a, kind of a sandblasted finish and then a comb finish. So Great. One, one more. And then this one's called Lure, which is um, also a marble too. So it's kind of like a sandblasted. Uh, let's see. That's amazing. A, a polished, kind of a hammered look, but really awesome. And as I said, Aaron does um, things in series of three. So really beautiful products. 
I love it. So designers definitely reach out and get <laughs> examples of this immediately or, or any other real stone product. We've got a bunch loaded on the source website right now. Oh, and you even have that. Dude, I'm loving this, just like bringing out all these amazing products. Yeah. It's great. Well, another one actually that's really, really cool. We actually, this comes in three different colors. It's actually a leather infused on a, um, like a sandstone. So each piece is one of a kind. Wow. Yeah. Just beautiful. Yeah. So this is dry location, dry stack only. So I love that. We have some great products. And then we sample basically, this is kind of, this is a um, sandstone with kind of a gray resin over the top of it. Really beautiful one too. So. Awesome. Well, designers, reach out and get some samples. Get your hands on that. Um, you can also register for another snack break if you'd like. So smash that register now button. Um, in the meantime, it looks like we don't have any more questions. So, Linda, it was great to chat with you about well, all you. these products. Well, thank you. Awesome. Thank Bye. you so much. All right, designers, we'll see you later. All right, thank you. Bye.